coming right at him all the time. I'll pressure Joe Parker all the time. And Andy opens up. He goes to the body downstairs. Dominating center ring. And he's landing with that left hook as well. This is exactly where Ruiz wants Parker. Ruiz clips him again with a right hand. And he hasn't been landing it. There's a couple of body shots. Best shape of his life. He trained up at altitude. It's humid here. Joe's got a big sweat build up. And Andy comes in and puts pressure on Joseph Parker. Joseph finally cracks him again. He's just leaning onto those shots. Oh, there it is. It opens up in a war. Joe got clipped again. Andy actually buckled the legs of Joe. Finds himself back on the ropes. This isn't where he wants to be. He needs to slide down. Parker landed a little left hook on the inside there. But Andy landed one as well. The jab instead of using it. There he uses it as a sledgehammer behind the jab. But he wants to try and hit Joe with the left hook. I think if he lands the left hook, he can land that right hand. Oh, yeah, he will. He just landed it there. Uh, there are some uh, mean intentions from both boys. That's a lot of what he needs to do. Andy Ruiz, that up jab, he throws it straight up. It's very short and he works well. And this was where both boys just started to engage. Abel Sanchez wants Andy Ruiz to do it. Overhand right. That's better work from Parker. Yeah, the, the decent left foot. Backing up all the time. At some stage, he's going to play on his feet. Joe up in his toes. Bouncing around to the right. Sets a plan of a right hand right in the kitchen. Joe pulling right back. He's been getting up first in this round. Now here's Joe up in the toes. And that's when he's at best when he's shoving his plants. Oh, look at that. Left the left hook again from Joe. He went to two jabs and then the left hook. When he doubles his jab in the left hook, this is a different Parker now in this round. This is by far. Took it well. Right on the back the body as he's done throughout the fight, but his output just dropped. And uh, this is where conditioning comes in. Both those boys exchanging their cooks, but neither of them really turning over the knuckles there. Although that was a nice one on the air by Andy Ruiz. Allowing him to come straight in on him. His Andy little cut. So uh, we've had bigger cut shaving. But Joe walking back. Left hook, now the solid left hook. separated him with the Ruiz on top. There was that left hook. The sledgehammer jab that Ruiz throws, but uh, he landed a lot more frequently with his left hand there, Parker. And there were some good exchanges from these boys. Parker landing with the uppercut. Parker every now and then lead with that right hand, because I think uh, Ruiz is walking into it. He's drifting just a little into that right from time to time. Probably have. There's the left hook right hand. Gloves. Now that inside fighting. He does. Ruiz just taking the jab. There's the jab. And countering. There's the jab. Well, I'll tell you this: there haven't been many breathers for either guy. The Joe got the worst of that. He, he got the left hook. He lands the left hook. Now he's got the determined look again. Ruiz comes in, forces him back. Ruiz bangs him to the body. Good option from Ruiz there, catching him as he's drifting on the right. So it was a nice reply from Parker. Yeah, Joe 11 and 12. And this fight is dead even. Good left hook there landed by Parker. And allows Andy to stalk him. Back downstairs. Nice uppercut from Joe. That's the first one we've seen in all. That hit him. And he comes back and clips Joe with a left hook. They hit a man without him going. And his uh, Ruiz, right after that, he's right on the assault again. Yeah, Parker though landed right the uppercut. Again. Again. He's landed two on this ground. Ruiz comes in and lands a right hand of his own. Parker. As a right hand. Every time Joe lands something, Andy answers back with two or three. And Ingo Barabas started to land the right hand and land it clean. Andy Ruiz, though, there is some definite concrete content in his whiskers. And that can spell anything from judges that I don't know. A bit more urgency there from Ruiz. Beats him to the punch. The idea was to run him out of gas. It isn't working. Uh, there's a big exchange by both guys in there. Oh, and he uses his shoulder in there. Stop looking at the referee and get back on action. There's a nice right hand. hand. And this is another one of those rounds. Too close to call. Both guys have had their moments. This is what champions have made of. This is what history has made of. Parker cannot afford to wait here. No, he can't. We need to get the release. Typical job. They both need this round. And I'll tell you this. Joe had better pick it up because Andy looks more aggressive right now. Trades, he trades. They're both in fine shape. 
The pace has been pretty good for a heavyweight championship fight. In fact, it's been terrific. Right hand knee. Joe comes to the body. And he comes back and clips Joe. Seconds. Last 15 seconds of the fight now. Is anybody that had something big? Joe lands a big shot. With less than 10 seconds to go. And he comes forward. You're watching history, folks. Who's going to be the heavyweight champion of the world? On my score sheet, I get Joe slightly out of front. But this can go anyway. On my score sheet, with a drawn round. By majority decision, a new WBO heavyweight champion of the world, fighting out of the blue corner. The base of the eye, the upholding. Well, it came down the way we had it. Joseph Parker has made history. Do you believe it? You're watching history. Joseph Parker becomes the first New Zealand-born heavyweight champion.